Now we just had a short go viral on this channel and to be fair, it also went viral on TikTok and Instagram. So I thought it'd be an interesting topic to really dig into here on The Mushroom Show. You see, mushrooms are little chemical factories, right? And they're always producing these interesting compounds that can do everything from change the way we think to potentially even kill us, but also just be maybe an essential nutrient that's required for human life. I'm talking about vitamin D and the fact that mushrooms of all things might be one of the only non-animal sources of this essential nutrient. But it's not all mushrooms that have this property and it's not always there either. In fact, there's a special trick that needs to be done in order to actually get the vitamin D out of the mushrooms. Let's play the short really quick here. Mushrooms are the only non-animal source that contain one of the most critical nutrients for humans, but there is a trick to actually getting it out of them. I'm talking about vitamin D. First of all, you should know that if you use a vitamin D supplement, there is a good chance that it's made from sheep's wool. Otherwise, if you want it in your diet, it'll come from fatty fish, from egg yolks, and from beef liver. Plain old, boring old button mushrooms actually contain super high levels of vitamin D, but not off the shelf. They need to be treated with sunlight. Just like UV light helps our bodies create vitamin D when the sunlight hits our skin, the same same thing happens with mushrooms. Mushrooms contain ergosterol, and when it's exposed to UV radiation, it is converted into vitamin D. And it's not just a little bit, it's a lot. Fresh mushrooms at the store might only have about one microgram per 100 grams of vitamin D, but if they are sliced and put out in the sun for 15 to 20 minutes, that amount is increased by 10 times to 10 micrograms per 100 grams, which is about the daily requirement in many countries. A few things I wanted to dig into here. Now, first of all, vitamin D obviously is super important. It's actually essential, right? That's like the definition of a vitamin is that is it is essential for human health and a lot of us don't get enough of it. I guess it depends on where you live, right? But me, for example, living in Alberta, we don't get a ton of sunlight in the winter, so I'm probably not getting enough sunlight. So I probably need to find alternative sources of vitamin D. So the headline here, of course, is that mushrooms have the potential to be the only non-animal unfortified source of vitamin D where you can actually get a sufficient amount of vitamin D per serving. And the way that mushrooms do this, as mentioned in the short, is pretty cool, right? They, much like humans, need to convert sunlight into vitamin D. So here's how this works, basically. Mushrooms contain this compound called agave which is a precursor to vitamin D. And when it's exposed to UV light, it is converted from agosterol to this vitamin D2. And you can see here that the key feature is this UV light, right? So mushrooms contain a lot of agosterol, but you need this UV light to actually help convert that into a usable form of vitamin D that we could actually get from ingesting the mushrooms. So here is a paper that contains a ton of information about this. It's a review of mushrooms as a potential source of dietary vitamin D. And again, I will link to this in the description if you wanna actually go ahead and read the whole thing. It's pretty cool, it just like sums up a bunch of research that has been done on this topic. And basically this is what it's talking about right here is you know comparing fresh wild mushrooms or fresh retail mushrooms to mushrooms exposed to sunlight. And just shows how like fresh retail mushrooms don't actually have a lot of vitamin D. So right here it shows like one microgram per 100 grams, which is not that much. But if they're put out into the sun for a little while, they can be all the way up to, well here this one was 32.5 uh, micrograms per 100 grams. So like a 30 odd, uh, 30 fold odd increase in the amount of vitamin D after just 15 minutes of sun exposure, which is pretty cool. Now there is an important distinction to be made here and it's that mushrooms produce vitamin D2, which is different from vitamin D3. So in the short, I was talking about how other sources of vitamin D are things like liver or fatty fish or eggs, those are all vitamin D3. Now, whether you ingest vitamin D2 or vitamin D3, it gets converted in the liver to something called 25-hydroxy vitamin D, which is what we actually use or what is measured when we measure our blood to see if we have sufficient levels of vitamin D. And some research has shown that vitamin D3 is more effective or more efficient at being turned into this 25-hydroxy vitamin D. So some people say that vitamin D3 
is better to ingest. But there has been other sources of research that say the opposite, say that vitamin D2 is just as effective, and in some cases more effective than vitamin D3. So that is an important distinction, but it still doesn't take away from the fact that mushrooms contain a lot of vitamin D when processed like this, and that can be super beneficial to our vitamin D levels. So since this reel went viral everywhere, we did get a lot of questions, so I thought it'd be fun to dig into some of those FAQs right here on The Mushroom Show. So let's go through some of them. The first question is, how long do you need to expose the mushrooms to the sun? So again, this can vary a lot, right? The sun is more powerful depending on where you are. If you're at the equator, it's obviously a lot more powerful than if you're in Northern Canada or something like that. But research has shown that as little as 15 minutes of sun exposure can increase the levels of vitamin D substantially and up to an hour of sun exposure can actually get those vitamin D levels up to a you know full amount of vitamin D per 100 gram serving. So if you were doing this yourself, you'd probably wanna put your mushrooms out in the sun or sun your buttons for somewhere between 15 minutes to an hour. Another question is, can you dry them and save them for winter? Like, will the vitamin D still be there? And that's actually a really good question, right? Because it'd be pointless to treat your mushrooms or sun your buttons and get your vitamin D high and then it would just degrade over time. But there actually has been some research done on this and specifically for fresh mushrooms, if they're put back in the fridge, well, they will, you know, they'll lose a little bit of the vitamin D, but they will retain a large amount of it for up to eight days or more. And actually in some studies, it showed that the vitamin D level even increased further after 24 hours in the fridge. Now, if you dry the mushrooms, they will also retain that vitamin D, but you know it will degrade over time. And I don't know if there's been any specific research that says like at six months, they lose all their vitamin D or something along those lines, but the vitamin D doesn't degrade right away. So if you dried some mushrooms that were exposed to sunlight, it would likely still have a pretty high concentration of vitamin D. The next question was, can you put them under a UV lamp or a grow lamp to do the same? And the answer is yes. So sunlight obviously produces UV light, which is the actual mechanism of action for turning the ergosterol into vitamin D. But the same thing can be achieved through artificial UV light. And artificial UV light can actually be a lot more intense. So it will actually increase the level of vitamin D much faster. And I've actually seen this myself on some button mushroom farms. They just kind of roll the mushrooms underneath these really high intensity UV lights. And that short duration of time is enough to massively increase the level of vitamin D in those mushrooms. And I guess this could be kind of analogous to like a tanning booth, right? So you can go tan out in the sun, it might take a really long time. Or if you're in a tanning booth, people go in there for like 10 or 15 minutes or whatever and might have the same effect. So yes, you can increase the level of vitamin D in mushrooms using UV lamps. Next question is, would the amount of vitamin D stay the same after cooking? The answer is, well, it won't stay the same, but luckily it won't change that much. So this is a great question because yeah, of course you wanna cook button mushrooms. Not a lot of people eat them raw. Um, but you might think, okay, if you're cooking them, you know, vitamin D is relatively an unstable compound. Will that totally go away? Well, there actually has been some research done on this and it shows that again, even though the level can degrade a little bit, it can be as high as, you know, 80% of the original amount of vitamin D, even after like five minutes of searing or cooking in a pan. So again, this will vary. It seems like it varies somewhere between 60 to 80% but you should still have nutritionally relevant levels of vitamin D in your sunned buttons after cooking. The next question is, does this apply to all mushrooms or just button mushrooms? So yes, this does apply to other mushrooms, but not all mushrooms. So button mushrooms are Agaricus bisporus for all the Latin name connoisseurs out there, but there are other mushrooms that also have this property. In fact, the reason why a lot of this research got kicked off was because it was discovered that these chanterelle mushrooms had super high levels of vitamin D compared to store-bought button mushrooms. And chanterelles would obviously be growing in the wild and they get a lot more sun exposure. So they originally found that the these wild chanterelles had like 30 times more vitamin D than the store-bought button mushrooms. So it's chanterelle mushrooms have this property, oyster mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, porcini mushrooms in particular have really shown to have high levels of vitamin D. So I don't know if it's all mushrooms, but it's definitely more than just button mushrooms. The next question is, how does vitamin D in mushrooms compare to how much humans would get if they stood out in the sun for 15 minutes? And this is actually a super tough question to answer because again, kind of repeating myself here, but there's so many variables, right? Not only does the angle of the sun and the time of year and all this kind of stuff 
uh, how much skin is exposed, all that makes a difference, but also human physiology makes a difference. So there might be one person that is a you know, super producer of vitamin D and can produce vitamin D really quickly. There might be other people that might take four or five times longer based on their human physiology to produce that same amount of vitamin D. So it's really hard to know, but if you look at some of the, the research, it seems like for most people, like 30, 15 to 30 minutes of sun exposure a couple times a week is enough to get sufficient levels of vitamin D. Again, I'm not an expert on this topic, but that seems to be kind of the consensus, whereas 15 minutes to an hour seems to be enough for mushrooms to get a sufficient amount of vitamin D. So it seems like it's almost kind of similar. Um, so I guess if you were sunning your button mushrooms and you stood outside with them for that same amount of time, well, you'd probably produce just as much vitamin D as you would if you were to eat those mushrooms. This video was a clip from The Mushroom Show, which is the one place you need to be to stay on top of all the amazing things happening in the world of mushrooms. Click here to watch the full episode that this clip was taken from, and be sure to subscribe to our channel to catch the next release.